and welcome all. I'm glad you found this video and thanks for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, my name is James and I've been in the internet market for the last eight to 10 years. And before that, I was self-employed for many years running a successful service-based business before selling it for six figures. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover one of my favorite things to do and that is split testing a landing page. Now, why do I love split testing, guys? Because it's how I take an existing campaign and make it profitable or make it more profitable. It is extremely important that you know how to properly do this. Uh, you will not be successful as an affiliate marketer without being able to split test a landing page, guys. And one of the great features of ClickFunnels is they make it really easy and simple to do this, okay? And guys, if you're not using ClickFunnels, don't worry. This video will also show you how to properly split test. Just some of the steps might be a bit different based on whatever platform you are using to host your landing pages, okay? So what is split testing, guys? And should you be split testing? Basically, guys, split testing is how you take your conversion rate from a low rate and bring it up to a high rate. Okay, split testing is the only way you can do this or the only way you can consistently do this. And guys, if there is room for improvement, there is room for split testing. So unless your conversion rate is 100%, you should be running split test, okay? Split testing is the key to affiliate marketing, guys. If you wanna be successful and you wanna run profitable marketing campaigns, you need to know how to properly do split testing on your pages, okay? And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a landing page that I'm currently working on testing, and I'm gonna show you how to properly set up split testing using ClickFunnels, okay? I'm gonna share you some key points, walk you through the whole process, um, and basically just show you what you have to do in order to split test your own campaigns or your own landing pages, guys. And when it comes to split testing, guys, if you know the basic principles that I'm going to show you in this video, it's not that difficult and you'll be able to split test any one of your landing pages after you watch this video, okay? Also, if you do enjoy content or videos like this, you want to see more videos that are packed full of helpful tips, tricks, and money-making methods, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to be working with today. And we're going to be working on this page right here, this landing page that I created from a previous video. Uh, it's basically trying to promote a product to people that have cats or are about to get cats. And my goal with this page that I want to do is I want to improve the opt-in rate, guys. And this is really important, guys. When you are starting your uh, split testing or A-B testing, uh, the one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a clear goal that you're trying to reach okay something that can be controlled by you and is not influenced by any other outside uh, factors okay so for example I can control on this page the opt-in rate that's what I want to fix I want the opt-in rate I'm not saying oh I want to make uh, more sales like for example, I want to create more sales on the landing page for the affiliate product I'm trying to promote because that is out of my control. All I can do is send a certain amount of traffic that's targeted and hope that it converts well on their landing page. I cannot improve the conversion rate of someone else's landing page, but I can improve the conversion rate or the opt-in rate of the page that I control. Okay, so it's very important that you have a clear goal of what you want to do. And for me, again, it's opt-in rate is my goal. That's what I want to improve, okay? Now, currently from previous tests that I've run on this actual page right here, uh, I'm sitting at around 26%. Uh, so there is a lot of room for improvement, okay? I know from past experience and other campaigns and other things that I'm running that I can easily hit around 65 to 70% with the right traffic, lead magnet and landing page combination, okay? Um, I could try to target my traffic differently, but I know the traffic source is good. Number one, it's paid traffic. So I know the target is good and it's good quality traffic. Uh, and I know it's good because I'm seeing conversions on the back end from this opt-in form. So from the people that sign up to this list, I am seeing people convert into sales on the email marketing part of it, okay? So my first step is what I wanna do is I wanna say, you know what? I know that I can convert them in sales using email marketing. What I wanna do right now is I wanna prove how many people are actually signing up to the list. So that means improving the landing page, okay? And the first thing I like to do is I like to usually start with the headline. Okay, that's the first thing I like to do. Now, when it comes to split testing, guys, you wanna test one thing at a time, okay? So if you're gonna change the headline message or the font color, you only test that, okay? The goal of split testing is to test, test each element one by one, working on improving it, one thing at a time okay and if you change too many things for example i change this background image this color this headline this button color or whatever if i change too many things at once i don't know which variable or which element improved my conversion rate okay it's hard you want to isolate one thing at a time that you're working on when you're split testing okay and like i said for me what i like to usually do is i like to focus on the headlines and subheadlines first 
Then I like to look at the action buttons or my call to action on my action buttons or whatever I'm, you know, my call to action. And then I'll work on colors and backgrounds and stuff like that and images, okay? Uh, of course, this isn't written in stone, guys. Uh, sometimes you just gotta listen to your gut, uh, you know, and tweak something that maybe you feel is not working. Like if you look at this landing page and you think, you know what? I think this image is not working. It's kind of bothering me when I look at it more and more. I'm gonna change it. But again, that's something you get from experience after doing it for a while. But at the start, what I, what I suggest is you start by working on the message and in that order. So, you know, headlines, sub headlines, your button, your call to action, and then your images and colors after that. Okay. Okay. So let's actually set up our split test. Let me just get out of here. I'm going to click back to exit out of here um, because I'm not going to edit that page. And what we're going to do here is when you look at your funnel here, guys, whatever page you want to do the split test and you select the page and you're going to click right here where it says uh, create variation. Okay. And it's going to give you an option here, create duplicate page from opt-in. That's if you want to copy this or you can create one from a template template or create one from scratch. Now guys, which one you choose depends on what you want to do guys. Okay. If you're just looking to test something small, like I'm going to do like test a headline or the images or something just like a small little tweak or small refinement. Uh, you're going to click on cl uh, create duplicate page from opt-in. If you want to do something extreme, let's say I wanted to test something completely different. I want to test like an advertorial. So like a, a landing page that was like more like a blog post against this one and see which one converted better. Then I would click on create template and make a completely different one. Uh, again, it's up to you guys. And generally when you test, when you're starting out a completely new campaign, you're going to want to test a different, a couple different types of styles of landing pages uh, before you narrow down which one you actually want to work with. Um, I've already done a little bit of testing, so I narrowed it down. And all I want to do is basically just refine it. So basically, guys, to sum it up, you're going to clone or duplicate is basically when you want to refine your landing page and make small tweaks when you determine which style landing page you want to work with. Uh, create from template is better for testing completely extremely different variations of a different type of style landing page. OK, um, and again, for me, most of the time I'm just using the clone option because I'm just tweaking uh, little bits here and there. OK, so that's what I'm going to click on here. I'm going to create a duplicate page from the opt in. And the next thing you want to do guys is you want to go over here and you want to move this slider over and you want to select how much traffic you want to each variation. Okay. You've got your control here, which is the original one and the variation. I want to send 50% traffic at each one. So I'm going to click on apply changes and now it's set up. Now it's sending anytime I send traffic to this page right here or this lander, this URL, it's going to send half the traffic to my control and half to my variation. And it's going to, it's going to you know, track the stats and I can take a look. Now, obviously to make some changes. So let's go over here to edit page and we're going to make some changes and I'll just show you quickly how I do that. I just want to, again, I'm looking at refining this and just improving the optimum rate because I've determined that this is the type of landing page I want to use from previous tests. Okay. And I'm just going to change this right here, this headline. I've got one that I've already written out let me just get it. Okay. And I'm just going to paste that in right here and I just change it free checklist, get ready for your new cat with this free cat care checklist. Very simple. Okay. I just want to change it up a little bit and see if this is going to convert a bit better. And once I've made the changes or you've made whatever changes you want and you're ready to run your split, you're just going to click on exit or part of me, you're going to click on save, uh, save your changes and you're going to click on exit. Okay. So now what I've got here guys is I've got this variation here. And now it's set up in such a way that basically half the traffic is going to go to the control and half is going to go to the variation, exactly what I want. And again, if you notice guys, all I've done is I've just changed one little thing. I just changed the headline for the free checklist. I didn't change anything else because again, we want to isolate one element at a time or one factory we want to test at a time each time we're running a split or a split test or AB testing. Okay. And then the next thing to do is simply you need to track the stats because you need to know which one is performing better so you can declare a winner. Okay. And ClickFunnels makes it really, really simple guys. Just click over here where it says stats and you can see the stats for any one of the pages. So for example, we're looking at the opt-in here. We have our control and our variation and it'll give you the page view, unique, everything, the opt-ins, and you can see which one is getting a better opt-in rate. So for me, I want to target opt-in rate. I want to directly see if my changes impact the opt-in rate and make it better or worse. But let's say you want to test something like affiliate sales or conversions from a landing page, like a bridge page or something like that. Um, you can do it two ways. You could just number one easy way is just simply just go over to the affiliate offer, build another tracking link and simply just add a, let me just click on this and this. 
and simply add a sub ID for that campaign. So it'd be, you know, if this is like a split one, you call it split one. When you got to split two, split two, and then you can track and see which ones give more conversions uh, for that landing page, okay? Uh, the other way is just simply to make notes of the dates that you ran split tests and then just check it against the results or your sales from your affiliate, um, your stats and see when you made sales and say, okay, that was from this split or this one. Personally, I just like to do a separate ID for each one. That's my own personal choice, but it's up to you. But anyways, back on topic, guys, all I want to do, my goal simply was to improve my opt-in rate and the stats that I need for that are all here on this page right here that ClickFunnels provides for me. Uh, anyways, then all you need to do is simply run some traffic at your split test to determine or declare a winner. Um, as far as traffic goes, guys, what I usually like to do is I usually like to run a set budget per split. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm doing a split. I, let's say it's $100. What I'll do is $100 from Google Ads per split. That way I have a nice even baseline to draw my conclusions from. Uh, if you can only afford $10 per split, then do $10 split. It's whatever you can afford, that's fine. Just make sure it's an even baseline to draw your conclusions from. Anyways, once you've ran some traffic at your split and you're ready to declare a winner, I'm gonna show you what to do here. Let's go back to the other page here. All you simply do is once you've decided which one is performing better, you're gonna simply just click on declare winner or declare winner, whichever one you want uh, to be the new control. So basically if I click on, the, I'm not going to do this right now, but if I click on declare winner, it's gonna replace this one here and now become my control. Okay, and then I can do it again. You know, I'll just click on it, doesn't matter, because I can always just fix this. And what it's gonna do is gonna replace the control and now we have this one is now our base where all our traffic is going to is the one that we made the changes to. And if you wanted to do another split test, you simply just create on click on create variation and do the same thing again. With that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe and thumbs it up. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you then.